A lot of people don't take into consideration just how many potatoes you can continue to grow for a fall crop. My seed potatoes from Wood Prairie Family Farm are here and I'm ready to plant my fall potatoes. Guten gardening everybody. Well you can see a whole bunch of potatoes growing behind me. In fact, in this 32 foot bed, I've got 15 different varieties of potatoes growing. It's gonna be the most diverse potato harvest we've ever done and maybe the most diverse potato harvest you've ever seen. And 10 of those varieties of potatoes are from organic seed potato from Wood Prairie Family Farms. And now that it's time for our fall potato crop here in Zone 5, Wisconsin, we just got a half a dozen more varieties. By the way, before I go any further into this video, I should note that Wood Prairie Family Farms is going to be shipping potatoes up until the end of August. So if you're considering a fall potato crop yourself, you might wanna take a look on their website and see what they have available. And I should mention that there is a 5% off coupon if you use our code GUTEN. There's a link in the description of this video so you can see exactly how that works. But again, they're only shipping potatoes up through the end of August. So you gotta get in there pretty quickly. All right, let's take a look in this package at the varieties that I chose. Well, as I've mentioned before, it feels like potato Christmas here. So we've got, I love getting <laughs> new potatoes in. We've had nothing but good success with these organic seed potatoes from Wood Prairie Family Farm. It's one of the reasons why we're willing to talk about their potatoes, their seed potatoes. And as I mentioned, I have a half a dozen varieties here and i'm keeping them upside down until i'm ready to show you but i'm going to tell you the reason why i chose the varieties i chose i actually went on the website and you know we're in zone 5 wisconsin and that means that we don't have a ton of time between now and the end of the growing season so i picked varieties that were early season varieties which means that most of these varieties should be ready to go in under 95 days in about three months three months or less and so i should be able to still get a pretty good harvest from these different varieties so let's go ahead and take a look at the varieties I chose. And if you're someone in a shorter growing season like ours, these might be good varieties for you to use for your fall potatoes. And the first variety is our dark red Norland. And the red Norlands are a really common variety. In fact, I'd imagine if you've had some red skinned potatoes, um, that in all probability, especially if you're in our area, that the Norlands are probably the variety or, or likely to be the variety that you receive. Now for some of these, I got about a half a pound. Some of these I got a pound. A half a pound is about four of these dark red Norlands. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly cut these in half. Yeah, these are big enough. I'm going to cut them in half. I'm going to try to keep a couple of eyes on each piece. But that'll give me eight plants, eight dark red Norland potato plants to go ahead and plant. I also got another red potato, which is the red cloud, which is a variety that we've never actually grown before. So I'm really excited for this. It says this is an uncommonly dry potato. So this is definitely not a russet potato or russet style, but the fact that it's dry like that means that you can eat it. It sounds like in a similar way with regard to baking. And it looks like I've got five potatoes in here. Some of these I could cut more than once. I think I'm just going to cut them one time though. Again, a lot of what happens with our fall potato is making sure that we have enough space to grow them in. So I wanna be able to use up all of these seed potatoes. Like this Yukon Gold, you've probably eaten or tried Yukon Gold in the past. You may have even grown it. It's pretty easy to grow. And it's one of those really early potatoes. You can get in and harvest pretty quickly. I'd say about 80 days for these. These are looking really nice. One of the things that we're looking for with these seed potatoes is the quality of the seed potato. And I imagine that if right now you went to a greenhouse to try to find seed potato for a fall crop, you're not gonna find anything that looks this good. You might not even be able to find anything because a lot of times those seed potatoes, they go out at the very beginning of the season because most people want just that main crop to be harvested here in the next month or so. And a lot of people don't take into consideration just how many potatoes you can continue to grow for a fall crop. All right, next up we have another potato that we've never grown, which is called Prairie Blush. And the outside picture on this looks awesome. So it says Blush Discovery. So you've got a little bit of a, a pinkish reddish blush to the potato itself. And this is supposed to be good roasted, fried, or boiled. And I'm really excited. I, I love trying new potato varieties. And so we have two of the six here 
Two of the six potatoes, I got a full pound of this one, um, but two of the six are brand new to us. And you can see how many you get in here. These seed potatoes are a little bit smaller, but how many potato plants I'm gonna be able to go ahead and plant from here. I'm not gonna cut any of these down. These are gonna go right into our beds. Now I saved the last two together for a reason. We've grown both of these varieties before. We've got Adirondack Blue, which is my second favorite blue or purple potato directly behind the Magic Molly. And we've got the Adirondack Red, which is an absolutely, it says it right there, stunning dark pink flesh. So it's got a pink exterior and a pink flesh as well. And I really can't explain this other than to say if you've never grown a purple or a pink potato, it's something I think you should experience. First of all, I know for a fact both of these are absolutely delicious. The seed potatoes, by the way, look fantastic. These are ready to go. The sprout is about a half an inch long. These are ready to go into the ground. I could wait a couple more days if I wanted to, but these are going to go right in the ground. I know they're delicious. You see that? You can see all the eyes on there they haven't really developed. Some of these are actually a little bit farther along, so this one doesn't have any sprouts yet. But what I can tell you is these are delicious. It's a, it's a novel experience, and actually, uh, when I was growing up, I don't remember seeing purple potatoes or pink potatoes. I don't remember seeing any of those things. And actually, I know these varieties were developed not so long ago, but I really think you should give that a try. I think that you should try growing some of these uh, more unique varieties. It makes for a really fun harvest, but also you get some unique tastes. And we definitely know that not all potatoes have the same taste, not even close. Certainly when it comes to waxiness, dryness, etc., there's a lot that goes into this. And some of these varieties are going to produce better than others. And because we've added the prairie blush and the red cloud, because we've added these two varieties, we're going to be able to determine how well they grow in our area. But I am super excited for these new varieties. And again, if you're interested in getting some organic seed potatoes, seed potatoes going to be really high quality, then maybe Wood Prairie Family Farms is the place for you to get them. And again, there's a 5% off coupon linked in the description. And we'll also pin a comment where we have our link to that coupon in the comments so you can find it in either place. Now I've got a three by six bed where we just harvested a whole bunch of garlic and it's all prepped and ready and refertilized and reinvigorated. And I'm gonna go ahead and plant the prairie blush potatoes in there because they're farthest along and I think I have enough in this single pound to go ahead and fill that bed. So come with me and let's plant some potatoes. All right, this is the three by six bed. And by the way, if you didn't check out the video where we harvested our garlic, we also got a really amazing volunteer potato harvest out of here. I mean, way better, almost 12 pounds of potatoes in addition to the garlic. So you should check that out. But I've gone ahead and replenished the nutrients in this bed. I've given it an all purpose fertilizer, some bone meal and some azomite. And as I'm planting, I'm gonna add my mycorrhizal, my azomite and my bone meal underneath each of these potatoes. And actually what I want to do first is to lay out where, you know, get this, get the spacing right for these potatoes. See how many I have. I think there's about 10 in here and see if I want to space it further apart. Just to give it, I, yeah, we're definitely going to just fill this bed with these potatoes. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. Let's see. We got five, 10, 15 potatoes. 15 of these prairie blush potatoes. And that's gonna fill this bed right up. So let's go ahead and plant one of these so you can see how I do it. You know, some facets of gardening are definitely an exact science. I think planting potatoes may not exactly be one of those. I usually try to get it around five or so inches in depth, just like so. I'm gonna add my bone meal, my azomite, which are just trace minerals, and then something to help with root production. And then the root development, the mycorrhizal, which helps with root development as well. So I've got all that directly underneath. I like to sprinkle a little bit of, of our potting mix or soil, whatever it is, just to keep a little distance, even though I don't really think it's gonna burn anything. And I, I make sure the sprouts, as many as I can see, are facing up. And again, the size of these, I'm not cutting these down. And then I'm just gonna come through and cover that back up. And I'm gonna repeat that process through all 15 of these seed potatoes. Well, it looks like nothing ever happened to this bed whatsoever. But I happen to know for a fact there's a pound of these prairie blush potatoes in this bed. 
Hey, one pound can turn into what? That's gonna be interesting. We had 15 seed potatoes. So let's see what one pound becomes here in a couple of months. And that's just one of the six varieties. I've got some other beds to fill, but you'll see updates on that in future videos. And before you know it, we'll be harvesting potatoes from our main crop. And I'm super excited for that. Well, I think there's one more thing I should mention. Now, I said that I picked early season varieties. If you go on Wood Prairie Family Farm's website, you can select between early, mid, and late season, depending on how long your growing season is, depending on what your growing season looks like at the time that you're watching this video. I mean, you may have an entirely different experience in terms of what you need. I picked the early season varieties to make sure we could at least get some crop before this season ends, hopefully before this season ends. And I should mention one more thing. I will never tell you that Wood Prairie Family Farms is the cheapest way to go. I won't ever say that, but I will tell you that from our experience, their seed potatoes are second to none. From all of our experience so far, that family farm seed potatoes have performed incredibly well for us. So we're not gonna change things up. We're gonna keep growing with Wood Prairie Family Farms. Hey, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.